We've talked a lot about the improved durability and longevity of the Topo 2 because of the decision to move all of the mechanical systems on the inside of the trailer. But that has led to a lot of customer questions about the uh, implications of that on the user end. So we're gonna show you how to access all of the things that are a part of our utilities closet. Um, one main thing to note here is that any daily function or operation that is required of the things that are behind here, we have pulled out uh, to an accessible point, right? So your water pump is over here. Um, the truma control is inside of the cabin. Um, your inverter switch is inside of the cabin. You don't need to go into the utilities closet to power anything on um, or to make the system usable. But you do need to access it in the case that anything goes wrong with your trailer or to do any troubleshooting. So we're just gonna quickly show you how to access each of these individual uh, utility closets here. Um, we will start with the access panel for the Truma Combi Eco Plus. And this is very simple. Um, this back panel, again, is secured with magnets. So to release this, you just press in and then you shift the unit up. I do find that it's a little bit easier to remove at least one of the knives from here. And then you just angle this panel and slide it out. Inside of here is a look at the Truma itself, as well as all of the ducting for the cabin heat, the ducting that goes into the water tank uh, compartment itself so that your water system can be usable year round. You've got some of your plumbing connections um, that go to your shower fixtures, um, the Truma unit itself, of course. And there is one switch on here, um, an on-off switch to the Truma itself, but we keep this in the on position so that anything that you need to operate from the Truma is just accessible from the outside. Now getting the panel back in, we just want to reverse that process. I find on the um, in that this, the magnets are actually a little bit more of a help because uh, it helps kind of pull everything in place. So you just slide that in and snug as a bug in a rug. And then you can put your knife back. Now we're going to take a look at the access panel on this side of the trailer behind the shelving system. So basically, we're just gonna be removing the center compartment shelves in order to access what is behind here. And I will show you that now. Now back in here, we have your inverter, the fuse box, as well as the batteries. So again, because these batteries don't need to have any regular maintenance on them, um, we wanted to have them on the inside of the trailer, keeps them insulated and extends the life of the trailers, not only for the duration of a trip while you're out using your trailer, but for the overall life of the battery as well. Uh, the fuse box is nice and centrally located. That's the item that you're probably going to need to access more than anything if you blow a fuse while using your trailer. Um, if something's not working that should be, the fuse box is always a good place to look once you've kind of gone through the troubleshooting that you can on the outside of the system. Um, and then, of course, is the inverter located in the upper right. This is an upgrade option on the Topo 2. If you ever have an issue with the inverter and it's not working as you believe it should, then you'll want to get in here to take a look at the display to see if there, uh, to see what the error code readout is on the Xantrex. Now we're going to go ahead and close everything up.